is kind of rad. No, that's mine. Your gift is inside. Is that your... Yes, Glenn. It's my penis. After my surgery, I kept it in my freezer, next to a snowball from the winter, if you can believe that. I want you to have it. I... I can't take your penis, Dad. Please take it. If you don't, I'm just going to give it to Paul Ryan. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Weird. Proud of you guys, but weird. Okay, has everyone washed their hands? Me neither, but going forward, let's try. I'm so nervous for Quagmire. I know, but it's nice that they served hot dogs for the surgery. There it is, give me that. Nurse, you put it on there. I'm not gay. The operation was a success. Congratulations, Quagmire. Thanks, guys. And Dad, I don't know how to thank you. You've given me the greatest gift I could ever ask for. I love you, son. I love you, too. So, will it work, Dr. Hartman? Oh, yes. I'm not sure about urination or sex, but otherwise, yes. So, how you feeling? I'm actually in extreme pain, Doc. It's like knives are stabbing into my crotch. Don't worry, that'll go away once you fill your prescription at Goldman's Pharmacy. Mort's is closed. Oh, oh yeah. Cool tie-in with the other story, though. I'm trying to get more involved in the writing this season. In fact, I think Family Guy should be more of a dramedy. What's a dramedy? Well, for one thing, the scenes don't have to end with jokes. You got the flash drive? Yep. All the information that could put you away forever. Now, again, I don't know why we couldn't have done this by Dropbox. I mean, I don't mind coming here to a parking lot. I had to get Mort anyway, but Dropbox would have saved you time. And you wouldn't have to mail me back my flash drive. What do you mean, mail it back? You were planning to keep it? It's 64 gigs. I bought the coverage. You're not getting the coverage. Hi, guys. I'm a pharmacist. Ugh, Mort is so hard to write for. Okay, give us Mort. My mailing address is in the flash drive. FBI, freeze! What the hell is this? Thanks for your cooperation, Mr. Goldman. Wait a minute. You were working with the feds? Absolutely. When I heard there was a reward, I immediately turned myself in. So you guys get bupkis. I'm a pharmacist. Well, Brian, we may not have gotten the $10,000, but it'll be a joy to hear no more Jewish talk for a long while. Brian and Stewie laugh, the image freezes, the end. Ah, that was a good day's work. I've earned this. Little shot of the old Sorkin genius juice. So, Quagmire, how's the new rod holding up? Yeah, you know, it's good. Pretty good. I've been having a lot of sex. Um, my dad didn't mention there's a four-inch mole on the left side. What? Uh-huh. It's like the size of a 50-cent piece and a dime kissing each other. Yikes. Frightening. Yeah, some gals find it off-putting. I try to tell them it's my dad's old penis, but that, um, that just tends to make it worse. But the girls that stay are just great. Well, I'm happy for you, Quagmire. Don't be. Anyway, I gotta take a leak. Well, I'm just glad our friend's back to his old self. Yeah, seems he hasn't missed a beat. It's great that we can be there for each other in trying times. What's that noise? That's the sound of peeing out your daddy's wiener. <laughs>